So hello everyone, this is Akshay here and welcome back to the another gateway of the GMC Plural Streak of Day 168. So if you're new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe because it actually takes <laughs> my time and patience to and energy to uh, make this video, right? So without wasting any further time, let us continue this video. So if you have read this question, uh, so this question says, okay, so this question name is add minimum characters and the tags here are string data structures and Samsung. Okay, so let us get back to the open board. Yeah, so it says that the given string str, you have to find the minimum characters to be added in front to string to make it pattern drawn, right? So, how can we do it? So, for ABCD, they are saying that you need to add since all the characters are distinct, then it's not a parent room, then you need to add uh, DCDA at the front. And similarly, for ABA, that's a parent room, so we, we do not need to. We do not need to add, right? So, method one is like we have to do the pre processing why our string is not a parent room, right? So, we have to check it uh, that uh, if our string is parent room, then we do not have to do anything else. What we can do is, so let's say we have the ABCD, right? So in the ABCD, or let let us take a uh, let us take a case where it's a palindrome as well as the string title. Let's let's take uh, this this case A B A A B A and C D, right? So what I will see is that I will check this entire string as a palindrome or not. If it is not, then what I will do is I will I will discard this character, and uh, I will, since I since I have discarded this character, I will maintain account that I have discarded one character now. Then I will then I will check in this one that A B A C. I will check if A B A C is it's a palindrome, so it is not. I will again discard this C character and the count will go to one. I'll keep on checking like this. Now I will say that A B A. Now the character no, this string needs to be checked A B A. And since that's a palindrome, so I will stop here and I'll just return this count. Right? Makes sense? Because uh, we do not have to return the exact string uh, to make the particular string palindrome, we just have to return the count. Similarly, for A B A, you can see we check if the string is palindrome. It will do nothing, you will return the count that is, is zero. A, B, C, D for A, B, C, D, what we will do, we will check that if it is a palindrome, so it is not. So we will discard the actors and count will be one. Again, we will check if A, B, C palindrome, it is not, we will discard again, the count will be two. A, B is a palindrome, it is not, we will discard again, and the count will be three. Right? And since A is a single character and single character is always a palindrome, so the three will be our answer. Right? So uh, let us quote this step. Right? Let us quote this approach and then we will proceed on. Okay, so I have not shown you the live coding because this approach was very simple, right? So let me explain you what I have done again. So we have made a function of is uh, to check the palindrome. Palindrome to check a palindrome is nothing but we check. Uh, we have a while loop, right? We initialize two variables with the first pointer and the last uh, last index, and we check if the first and last index are same. Then we traverse from both these sides. That is i plus plus and c plus plus, right? Hmm. So we check. Uh, we had a function of checking the palindrome, right? Uh, so if the la if the first and last character does not match then you have to return false else we keep on checking it right travels on the both sides that's a very simple code for checking the palindrome and that's what we are doing we are running a while loop while the string length is not equal to zero uh, because we were discarding each and every character from the last right and there are two possibilities uh, uh, first is that we need to stop if the entire if the string we are checking is palindrome second case is that if the number of characters have not been left now right Okay, so that is what the first while loop is saying. If, the, if there are number of characters left, keep on checking it. So what I will check, the first I will check if it is palindrome, then just return the count what, whatsoever we have. Else, do the count plus plus and discard that last character. And to discard the last character, we are just taking, we are running a substring function, right? Okay. So, so for ABCD, first it will reduce to ABC due to this line, and then it will reduce to AB, then it will reduce to B. And at the last, it will check that the single character is a palindrome and so it will return the count. I hope I'm very clear in this approach, but what would be the time complexity of this approach? That we are running a while loop, right? Till the number of characters are uh, not, uh, uh, till the number of characters are present, right? So it would be O of N, O of N. Suppose so that all, all the characters are distinct and O of N, right? We are discarding each and every character. And for each and every, after discarding each and every character, we are running a palindromic function, which will again take a time of O of N, right? So that means the overall time complexity will be O of n square and the constraint of n is given as 10 power 5. So if you do a 10 power 5 whole square, it will give you 10 power 10, which is definitely greater than 10 power 8. And that is why it is giving us the TLE. So let us verify that as well. We can see 100,001 test cases passed and for the rest of the cases, it has given us the TLE. What is the optimized approach now? So the optimized approach is based on the uh, LPS array, right? What is LPS array? I have uh, just prior of making this video, I uploaded one video on LPS, right? 
it's also part of the KMP algorithm of strings, right? KMP algorithm is responsible for pattern searching. Pattern searching, right? So I thought of covering that as well. So that is why I have made this video as KMP part one. You must go and watch that how the LPS works, right? But let me give you a very quick overview of how, how the things happen. So let's say you have this thing as ABCD, right? In the string. So what will the prefixes here? The prefixes here will be empty string. First of all, then A, then AB, and then ABC. Yep, ABC. You cannot take the whole string because uh, uh, the definition of a proper prefix is, in, is says that uh, all the prefixes which do not have the string length, right? Okay. So the suffixes. So this is the proper prefixes and the suffixes. So suffixes will be D, CD, BCD, and ABCD, right? That is the suffixes. Now the LPS is nothing but the longest common prefix suffix array. So what is the common? Is there any common? So nothing is common here, right? So for A it will be 0, for this index it will again be 0, 0, 0, 0, right? Okay, so let me give you one case where the LPS is actually functioning, right? So And I highly recommend you to go and watch this video so that uh, you may be able to understand the uh, ongoing solution as well, okay? So what is the trick here is <coughs> that let's say, let's say you have this uh, uh, case. Uh, let us take a very prominent case where we can cover everything. So what the intuition behind here is so let's say you have a case of uh, A, B, A, C, right? The string you have, right? So the way to solve this is <coughs> that you need to append with the with the string, which is actually the reversal of the string. If you, the reversal will be C, A, B, A, right? And now if you find the LPS, right? <coughs> then the LPS will give you the, uh, <coughs> then the LPS, the, here the last index of the LPS will give you the longest palindrome possible right let us find the lps of this string and also you have to attach a delimiter here why because i will tell you let us assume that we need to attach a delimiter here and then i have to reverse the string right let us find the lps now and please watch that previous video of lps how the how it is working i am directly mentioning it here so the first character it would be just zero and this is the second character is it's not equal to the for the length two if the both characters are unequal then it is again zero for this one. For ABA, you can see that the prefix A, uh, the suffix A and the prefix A would be common and the length is one. So similarly for ABC, AB, ABAC, it would be zero. For this character, it will be again zero. It will be again zero. For this A, you can see that the suffix A will be acting here with the prefix A at B here. So the length will be again one, right? And for this B, you can clearly see that AB, AB suffix here and prefix here, so it will be two. Then again, ABA, for this last character, the ABA suffix and ABA prefix here, so it will give you three, right? So this ensures, this last index ensures that it is the longest possible palindrome that you can form in your given string, right? So let us, let us do some more dry run as well. So let us take a string now CABA, right? <coughs> C, a longest palindrome possible in the sense ki hume kya karna tha? ki we were to find the number of characters that to be added in the front. Right, so ye wo bhi, uh, handle kar hai. let's see how because in CABA you can see that the longest possible plan palindrome of the length is 3, right? But if you run it into the custom input, it will give you that you still need to add in CABA how many characters you need to add in front of C so that you can make a palindrome, it will give you ABA, right? Okay. So let us do this thing as well. So we append a hash here and then we will reverse the string that is A, B, A, and C, right? So what would be the uh, LPS? So I'm directly writing it. So it will be zero, zero for every each and every index zero. For the last one, it will be one because the suffix C here will match with the prefix C here, right? Which has the length one, right? And what I need to return is that the length string was nothing but four, right? C, A, B, A have the length as four. And you need to return this last index LPS value. That is four minus one equals to three. And you can see that the number of characters that needed to add to make C, A, B, A a palindrome uh, would be three. Right? These are the number of characters we need to add. Similarly for here, A, A B, C, A, uh, here the value is three, right? So what we need to return is the length of the current string that is four, four minus three, we need to return one, right? And you can clearly see that to A, B, uh, that to A, B, A, C, if you, if you want to make this string a palindrome, then you just have to add one character in front, that is C, right? Correct. So let me explain you why the hash is required, right? Why the hash or any specific character is required to make uh, the string concatenation, right? Okay, so what's happening is, so we are concatenating the original string, then we are concatenating it with hash, and then we are concatenating with the str.reverse, right? That's the original string in which the LPS array is need to work. 
and at the last we just have to return return str dot length minus lps of the last index lps that is n minus one and n is nothing but the this length right uh this this string length okay so let me tell you why hash why the special character is required why hash so let's say you have a string uh, as uh, all the characters as same right and uh, if you see that this is already a palindrome and it should return zero but if you add a hash here right if you add a hash here and you reverse the characters let's say a, 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 a and let's find the lps again so it will be zero one two three it would be what zero right and it would be zero 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 right am i right or wrong no that's wrong right so for the hash character it would be zero and then it would be one and it would be two three and four right and our logic was to uh uh string length string length uh, what is the string length that is we have the string, original string as four length so it is four minus the last unit that is four equals to zero and that is our answer right and that is our answer but if you do not include the hash character what will happen that you will just uh, concatenate the original string with the reverse string and reverse string will also be the same right this is the point of concatenation and if you find the lps now it would be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and it will return you what 4 it will return you 4 minus 8 that is minus 4 right and that is not that is something we do not want 4 5 6 7 8 yes it would give you the wrong answer right so i hope i am very clear the only catch here is was to is to understand how the lps works and that is why that's very important that is why i made a entire a uh, separate video for this please watch that and then come back again for this second approach right so these are the steps the step one is to make this this particular string step two is to apply the lps on it and step three is to just return the original string length minus the lps of the last index right so let me code it for you and uh, we will proceed it because it's already 11 for 12 minutes so let me do it very quickly now so that's the code here let me give you a very quick walkthrough right so what i said that we need to uh, first we need to in the first step we need the original string and then the hash character and then the string dot reverse then the hash character you need to uh, make uh, you need to write a function append and for the reverse you need to do a reversal but this reversal and append in build function is not supported in string so that's why we need to make a string builder so we made a string builder of the original for the string and attempt again with the string so that we can reverse it you can you can see that the string s is nothing but the uh, original string builder which has the original string dot append hash dot append m dot reverse dot two string right and uh, you can clearly pl print this string to get uh, what is happening and i will show you that as well but let me give you a quick quick code walkthrough so that was the step one this is the step two that writing the lps i have explained all the steps uh, in my that video of lps i have given you multiple variants to understand this case right so i'll not do it again here uh, so that is the uh, second step and that is the third step right so let us compile and run for this case which I drawn for you that is A, B, A and C and we will visualize that how the LPS array is coming and reacting. So clearly you can see that the string form is nothing but the original string, the special character, you can take any special character, either it be percentage, add the rate, anything, right? It just not should be in the uh, range of the alphabets. And then you have to reverse the string, you need to find the LPS, that is, uh, this is the same LPS uh, we just showed in our dry run, right? So let me go again back. So you can clearly see where is that? Yeah, 001, 000, 123, right? So you can see 001, 000, 123, and that's the answer here and spectator output, right? So let us comment down those steps. And so that's a very great thing. If you do not understand something that if what's happening actually in the code, then you can always use some of this debugging steps that is printing each and every line to see what is happening. And it's much better to explain uh, for the explanation part as well, right? So let us hit the submit button. And what's the time complexity of this code is that the LPS is just running for just a while loop. It is visiting each and every character just once, right? Uh, yes, the time complexity of the LPS is actually 2n, right? So this is the this is the thing that I missed in my that video. So it is actually 2n, right? And uh, but still, uh, ignoring the constant, it will be o of n. And then what we are doing? Uh, we are just calling the LPS array, and the uh, we are storing it in LPS. So the space complexity will also be o of n. But this can also be further optimized. We can just run this. Uh, another function here in the main function as well and then you can optimize it right so okay that's the just the writing part i hope you are getting the logic so now the time complexity is o of n and the constraint is 10 power 5 that is why all the test cases must right which is in and which is inbound of 10 power 8 so that is it for today's video let me show you the c plus code as well and then we'll end this video
So that's the C plus plus we, uh, that's the C plus plus code. We have a string original it, it equals to str. Then we form the uh, the first step as we have discussed. Then the second step is to form the LPS function, which is there written here. And the third is to just return the str line minus LPS of the last index, right? Of the uh, the new string formation. So that is it. Let us meet in the tomorrow's video of uh, let's say uh, I don't know which day uh, day one sixty nine. And if you are new to this channel, please like, share, and subscribe because it actually takes much of my time, like two to three hours a day to make this video, right? So if it is helping you, uh, it's uh, just you just have to click a button so that I can also be motivated and come back with you with the full energy, right? Okay, so let us end this video. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Goodbye and take care.